Good morning, Jones Creek. Today is Thursday, September 28th. Today we will be talking about JCPD and more. We also have a cross-country hype video for you and Athlete of the Month, so make sure you stay tuned. I'm Andrew Redman. And I'm Adrian Rosario. And JCNN and starts, starts now. now. Well, Adrian, here we've been having a long debate, like all day. It's what color each subject is. So let me just ask you, let me run this by you. What color is math? Well, it's obviously blue. Are you kidding? Blue for math? Yeah. OK, what, like, what color is lit? Well, it's, it's red. That's the opposite. I don't know what you're on about. But so if we push those aside and we have science, what color is science? Green. Okay, I'll agree with you on that one, but if athletics was a sport or subject, what color would athletics be? Um, I think purple. All right, we'll let that one go, but that does remind me, today we have Athlete of the Month on the show, so let's go ahead and send it over to Coach Smith. What a professional segue right there. Good morning, Gladiator Nation. Today we're here with our first two Athletes of the Month, and we have Presley Evans and Connor Eggleston with us. Presley Evans recently passed 1,000 assists at volleyball, congratulations, Thank you. and uh, is currently leading her team to the number three seed in the region, looking forward for you guys to take down Pope and move on to the state tournament. Right. Connor Eggleston is a captain on our football team, and he is also a captain on the wrestling team. His teachers report that he is a leader in the classroom as well as out on the football field, so congratulations to both of you. Thank you. Sure. And we look forward to more of you guys being out here and being Athlete of the Month as we go on. Thank you. Tournament, and we are looking for student judges. Student judges will be paid $10 per debate, which lasts 30 to 45 minutes, and have an opportunity to make up to $70 for the day, which is from 8 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. You can also choose to get service hours for working the day. There may be special bonuses for students who are available all day, but you can also choose to work in either the morning or the afternoon. There's no special training necessary. Please see Mr. Schultz in room 247 or email him at schultzb at fullandschools.org for more details. Or to sign up. First come, first serve, so sign up as soon as you can. The Dodge Creek Police Department is having its annual trunk or treat in October and needs candy donations to make the event awesome. Students and staff are asked to bring in new bags of candy and drop them in the decorated boxes in the main lobby and admin office. The more bags, the better, since we are in competition with Hooch and Northview. Let's show the JCPD how generous we are by filling up those boxes. Donations can be brought in through the week of October 9th. Attention candidates for the National Honor Society. The deadline for completing the application has been extended to Monday, October 2nd at 4 o'clock. It must be printed and delivered to room 149. See Mr. Kelly if you have any questions. Get ready to design the most epic Halloween costume. The Media Center will be hosting a professional cosplayer on October 5th. She will be speaking to us during all three lunch periods and show us how to get started. Learn how to use the Media Center's free resources to design the costume of your dreams. Future woman of well, America. Sorry to cut you off, but we do have a cross-country hype video coming your way. So let's go ahead and send it to that. Baby. The Future Woman of Healthcare Club is hosting a period product drive. We are collecting menstrual products such as pads, tampons, and menstrual cups to donate to My Sister's House, a woman and children's shelter in downtown Atlanta. All donations will be collected in Mrs. Robinson's room 
236, Beta Club members have the opportunity to earn a maximum of one volunteer hour for donating two or more boxes of period products. To earn your volunteer hour, bring your Beta volunteer sheet as well as your donation to Mrs. Robinson's room, 236, to earn your volunteer hours. Mrs. Robinson must sign your volunteer sheet. This drive is optional to everyone at school. You do not have to be part of D FWH or Beta. Let's show our compassion by donating, donating period products and making a positive impact in our community. Attention Beta Club and NHS members. All this week during lunch, come to the tables near the stairs in the cafeteria to build care packages for healthcare workers and firefighters. Bring seven items from the posted list. Bags and cards will be provided. See you there. Our band program has our fall concert this Thursday on September 28th at 7 p.m. Freshmen, sophomores, and juniors will go with their English classes to the Auxiliary Gym on Tuesday, October 3rd to have their pictures taken. For students who don't take an English class on campus, you can visit the gym at any point during the school day when it fits you with your schedule. If missing another class, please check in with that teacher first. Photographers will be here until 3 p.m. Do you miss the thrill of the book fair? Start saving your dollars. The Media Center will be hosting a banned book fair during an during all three lunches on October 3rd. Join us to support one of our local bookstores and buy all the cool stickers and books. Well, that's a wrap on our announcements. Have a terrific Thursday and finish off your week strong. And as always, don't, don't forget, forget to stay, stay classy. classy.